Time to take Rhino down. choices next time, but, uh, let's be real. Hey, geniuses! I hadn't even seen you until you started causing trouble! 1043. Armed hostiles are attacking a police transport. That just needed in Bloomingdale. are like potato chips. You can't beat just one. Stimulating battle side chat! You are funny, 
Let's wrap this up. Never spend an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What would you do if I didn't show you? Beg him to give up? Yes, son. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed. There is fun in that. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show. Alright, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me, or my best people is on it. Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's... <laughs> Captain, these Sable guys look like they forced all the residents out of a building so they could occupy it themselves. And locked up the ones who objected. Okay, that I can get something done about. But I need victims to come forward. I'll get the people out and have them file reports with the police.
Welcome to the air show. Shelters are on the street. I know what it's like not to have anywhere to stay. It's a good thing these sable agents have body armor, because I just might lose my temper. Drama. Drama for what? <laughs> Captain, the people that were locked up are headed back to their homes. Good. And I finally convinced the mayor's office that making constituents homeless was not good for his poll numbers, so they won't be pulling that stunt again. It's not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath Lab does exist, it's 
off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. What? What was what, for? The big remote? No, I don't. You're the one that had him. I don't know where the big remote's at. about to leave. Alright, love you. Alright, well. Have fun. Love you. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on the top. Need to get into the security. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You can't treat us like animals. How come Osborne never has to take the security Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? 
Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like, I like this thing. This thing. Gotta turn him around. Stay alert. I think we got company. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Useless button. <sighs> Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here. I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. So weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. 
Harry's last day. I know he left last summer. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just, I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't, I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. I haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. We should not rush off without a plan. We? 
You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Check it out. Okay, July 18, bingo. Super creepy. Gotta fuck the spiders. Is Norman, Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis, optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease? It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it.
Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the... Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C team. Good old Alpha team. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <laughs> Kinda makes sense, though. Michaels is the lead on Devil's Breath. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27, that's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27, Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> They created Lee. I, I have to get this. No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running.
the lab location and a lot more how far away are you two avenues over say the word and i'm there great keep the motor running Need to clear that balcony. Crazy. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick? sick? Norman, Norman and Lee? And, Lee. and Dr. Dr. Octavius? I know. I know. This is all my fault. No, not this long again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. 